in today's finale, the last video here on the F123 on this channel, we go to Abu Dhabi for the last race of this F1 season. We've already secured the championship in both the drivers and constructors, but we've still got one more race to play for. Let's see how it goes. Here we are then in Q3. Piastri also in Q3 with us, I believe, as we start our final flying lap. This is our second. Our first one was absolutely awful. So, and it didn't get anywhere higher than P10. As you can see, it says lap two. As yes, Piastri in P6 at the moment. We're 10th up on our Delta already, but we are two tenths down with two tenths slower than Piet than Russell in the first sector but realistically this the second and third sector is where we struggled as we have DRS open reaching insane speeds not as much as Las Vegas but still well over 210 miles per hour as we break for the little chicane turn left then right and then it's another DRS and the second DRS and we go a bit wide and we probably lose a bit of time for that but either way as we come into this long left hander, the new layout since 2021. But we are now marginally, marginally up on Perez. But we go off the track again and we lose about a tenth. So not really good at all. But we purple in the middle sector. We're over just over a second up now. That last sector, this third sector, has been incredible for us. As we come round the final corner and up to the line we want to take it tight and get on throttle early it's a second gain and from its p10 piastri will now be 10th we shoot up into p2 so a very very good qualifying for us however we are taking a penalty for the race i believe which means that we will not be starting p2 but we will be starting five places down but it depends on what other people have penalties as well. Russell, though, is on pole position from Gasly, who, who will be P2 when we, our penalty is served. Then it's Norris Alonso Verstappen down in P6. A very surprise there. Sainz Perez, Ocon, and then our teammate, Oscar Piastri. So now we are here ready for the strategy. Soft, medium, medium, soft. We're going to go medium, hard. We're going to think about it. But we are not sure yet. We might go onto the soft and try and extend the stint. Depends on the tyre wear as we are about to start. The formation lap for the final time here in F1 23. It's been a great game. Really good handling. But this is going to be our final race. I thought about doing another two-stop like we did in Portugal. But maybe not. We are starting P7 though. So no, nobody else has taken penalties. The majority of the top 10 and everyone on the top 10 on mediums or hards. Then it's of a mix actually with softs, mediums and hards all being used by the other, by the rest of the field. But the majority are on the soft tyres as we start the formation lap. And unlike previous times, I actually am going to show you guys me parking up to the grid because I haven't done it in a while. But here we go then. We need to get a good final parking. It's 0.5. It's a purple. That is precisely what we needed this good start. We've got signs to our left. for Verstappen in front of us. As we go to five red lights. One last time here in F1. 23. It's lights out. And away we go. We get a good start over Sainz and Perez behind us. And as we get past Norris as well. And into turn one we go. We are ahead of Norris. Can we get Russell as well? We squeeze him. But yes, we do. And now we are directly behind Fernando Alonso's Pierre Gasly of all people lead the race. Alpine have really shown some incredible pace in these past few races. As we head towards this left-hander onto the first proper straight. And we get a decent exit over Fernando Alonso. Maybe can we go for the move with a bit of ERS usage. DRS not activated yet. But we are going to gain on Alonso with Slipstream. And we are going to go to the inside of the Spaniard. And up into P2 if we can hold it. Which we can. And now Pierre Gasly is the man ahead in P1. Yellow flag behind. So I believe that's just the concertina effect into the chicane. So no, nobody's actually crashed or anything. But we are now up into P2 from P7 so and back into where our grid starting position was. So no damage done off the that engine penalty. 
So now we head towards the lap two. We have got no DRS yet, but ERS is now been. We are using our ERS and we are going to go round the outside of Pierre Gasly. Break much later than him and just hold it. But is Gasly going to fight us back on this on this second straight? Is now he will have probably a better slipstream on us. And we are going to have to go defensive to the inside. Is Gasly goes round our outside. And is he going to hold it up into P1? We are on the inside. He surely can't hold it all the, way around, all the way around the outside. And he can't. And we do keep P1. But it shows that Gasly has got some real pace this weekend. Especially as we bo both of us have dropped Russell by over a second. It's now Gasly does on lap 3. does retake the lead from us. But has he done it a bit too soon? Because we are going to come straight back at him with the DRS on this second straight. And ERS as well as we gain on Gasly. There's so much overspeed. We're going to go round the outside. He goes so defensive. But can we hold it round the outside? Yes, we can. And we move up into P1 again this race. And hopefully this time we can keep it rather than just playing a little swapping game with Gasly, it's like a game of chess, but Gasly's Alpine is looking ex exceptionally fast, so we're still going to have to be incredibly wary of that, as now we are here on lap 4, our fighting with Gasly has actually cost us to Russell, who is now within DRS ranges, Gasly retakes the lead of the race, can we try to go back down the inside of him, yes we can, but now Russell surely is going to be trying to get a sniff of this, as now we do lose the position to Gasly, but we've got the DRS and surely we are going to re-overtake him. No ERS needed, we are going to go to the inside. Gasly forces us right to the wall, but we go up into P1. But Gasly, he somehow hold it round the outside. I don't know how he's done it, but incredible defending from the Frenchman. Can we hold it in turn round the outside? Yes, we can. And now we, we're going to have the inside line. Is Gasly going to hold it again? No, not quite. But we are up into P1. It took a bit longer that time than I expected. But fair play to Gazi. Incredible defending from him. Once again, lap 5, he is going to re-overtake us. As is George Russell. Russell going for the lead of the race. We're going to make it three wide on the inside. And just force our nose in there. But now, Gasly and Russell both overtaken us. But who's not going to get the DRS here. I haven't for some reason, but nor is Gasly. I have no idea why he's not using his ERS, DRS or why we haven't got it. But either way, Russell now is in the lead of the race from nowhere. But we do overtake Gasly and up into P2. Now, uh, we have been asked for a new strategy by Mark to go on the softs. We go very, very deep against George Russell, trying to make the move. And he does overtake us, but he goes to be cat. He gets caught out a bit, and we are going to overtake him in turn and up into P1. So Russell, we he almost escaped us, but that illegal overtake we had to let him through. But now we are the ones struggling a bit because our tires. We had to go. We went to a lap 12, but our tires were overheating so much. And now, as we come into the pit lane, I wonder where we are going to come out. We are, it takes about, I think it's about 25 seconds for a pit stop around Abu Dhabi. But it depends if the crew gets the job right. So I think we're going to come out about P6. But as we come into the pit lane, we would like to come out P1. But is that going to be possible? As Landon Norris, it's a new fastest lap of a 1.24.0. As Verstappen overtakes us. Norris overtakes us. Leclerc overtakes us. Perez, is Perez going to overtake us? No, he's not. So that's crucial. We come out ahead of Perez and in P4 and only two seconds behind Leclerc, who we are going to overtake here. We are going to go uh, take a wide line, try to go round the outside of the Monegasque. It's actually worked. We're completely round the outside into turn five. What a move. And now with the DRS as well, that's so important to help us gain on Norris and Verstappen, who are fighting up ahead so maybe we could get a move on done on them as well but if you look at the top left we've gone purple in the first sector so incredible and we also have the DRS on Verstappen and on Norris so this could be an incredible new fastest lap for us as Verstappen goes for the move on Norris we're going to try and take it nice and tight and overtake both of them we're going to go so close and we got Verstappen can we get Norris well we can what a double overtake placed our car absolutely 
perfectly and we are up into P1 and surely now with the soft tyres we'll just be able to pull away from Lando Norris and win the race. It should be that easy from now on. As we come round the final corner, this has been a mega lap from us as well, so fast. Pre Norris's lap, fastest lap is a 124.0. We set a 122.5, so 1.5 seconds faster than Norris as we start the final lap of the race. So we did pull away from Norris, but in these latter stages, he has to come back at us. Obviously, these tyres wear out a lot more than his mediums, so he will have DRS on us. But this is going to be the final lap of our career mode. The final lap of the final race of on F123. As now Norris will have the DRS as he gains on us. He is going to gain. But is he, he's way too far back to go for a move. But maybe on the second DRS zone he might have a chance to overtake us. As he's two tenths behind us as we start the final straight here in Abu Dhabi in Yas Marinas as now he has gonna is gonna have the DRS we are gonna use our ERS and is Norris gonna go to the inside or to the outside he goes neither but we go a bit break a bit early in Norris he does overtake us at the line but we're gonna hold it round the outside and just force him out wide a bit and move up into P1 keep that place with some good defending but now as we come round the final corner i remember at the start of this my team career mode when we were fighting with signs in bahrain but with the alfa romeos and finished barely finishing in the points but as we come around the final corner we are going to add another win to our tally it's the final race and it ends with a win for us brilliant drive brilliant strategy and of course it had to end in a win for us So then P1 for us in the championship and in the constructors and a fastest lap 1.5 seconds faster than the next one of Norris's. Piastri finishes P9. It's been a very incredible half a season for him in this car with winning in Texas definitely being the highlight. As now as we look down to Drogovic who was our teammate for, one and a, for three quarters of this career mode. P17 for him, so a very, it's an okay drive. But Russell, what happened? He dropped down to P20, had to go for the two stop. We finished the championship 104 points ahead of George Russell. And in the constructors, we are 52 points ahead of Red Bull. So Ocon did not do well in that Mercedes whatsoever. Piastri finishes P9 and Drogovic P18 with all 15 of his points being collected in our car and the majority in his P5 finish in Bahrain as we now are back to the factory for one last time. This has been an absolute pleasure for me to show you guys my career mode and you guys to enjoy it and watch it and along with me. But this will be my last video on F123 
before we head to F1 24 with our all new driver career mode. This That is what we will be doing. Comment down below what team you'd like me to do it with. I'm thinking maybe AlphaTauri since we did one in season one of in our RTG in our RTG career mode. We did one of those already, so go check that out if you haven't already. But comment down below what team, like I said, and also there might be a two week, two three week break between this video and our my our first on F124. I've explained it all in the community tab, so if you go check that out, you'll find out why. But basically, it's because I've got exams coming up and I need to revise, so I won't be able to make as many videos, or any videos. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching the series. If you haven't watched Season 1, it will be on the right of the screen, and if you haven't watched the RTG, it will be on the left. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.